YouTubers. Hey everybody, how all of y'all doing? I am good. Blessed. But anyway, y'all know what's up tonight. I'm Eddie. I'm Ed Shep and I have deal seizures. Just like well, just like my friends. But anyway, tonight's topic is tonight's topic is the e epilepsy monitoring unit stay or also known as EMU stay now depending on where you go depending on where you live and what hospitals you go to The testing can be different. Can be. I'm not sure. I only know what goes on. I only know what they do here. Where I live. In RVA. But anyway. Crap. I, I know one thing though. But for general knowledge, the fact of the matter is, it sucks. To, like I said, depending on where you stay, depending on where you live, that the um, the proceed, the testing can be different, and all sorts of stuff can be different. Some hospitals will allow you to have your own food and stuff to do. Some will not. It depends on where you live. But for the most part, you probably will be able to have for the most part, you probably will be able to have like something to do aside from watching TV up in there. Me, I was making YouTube videos. I never got to edit them. But yeah, I was making YouTube videos. I had me a tablet. Not the same one I have right now, but I had me another one. And I just basically sucked it up. But from my experience, the food hospital food sucks. And you really can't go nowhere because you're because you're attached to um sensors and monitors you got these pro you got these things these wires coming out of your head and the gauze wrapped around I tell you one thing though that glue that they use will itch it will itch some 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 hospitals require you Get your hair cut, some will not. From my experience, whether it is a requirement or not, get your hair cut. And I'm pretty sure this is typically mentioned in the this is typically mentioned by your doctor, but just in case they do not mention it, be sure to have be sure to have clothes. You know, button-up clothes. You know, like this red shirt that I'm wearing. Because over the... Because clothes that you have to fit over your head, it'll get tangled up with the cords and stuff will not look... It'll not be easy to get dressed and undressed. But I guarantee you, most of us, basically, once we get comfortable, we get comfortable, though. Every person I've seen do it, take a picture during their EMU stays, not one of them wears civilian clothes, at least. Typically, we're probably wearing something like a home pajamas from home or hospital gown. 
But like I say, it depends on where you are. Now here in the state of Virginia, the doctors will allow us to bring in food and like I said, activities like, you know, and stuff to do like crossword puzzles and so forth. Matter of fact, they even go as far as allow kids to bring in video game systems. You know, those little handheld video game systems. Me, I was making videos. Yes, sir, I was making videos. But, um, for the most part, they will, they will restrict they will deprive you of your medication and and they will induce a seizure probably from something like a um strobe light but one thing is one big annoyance is they're going to try to get you to talk while you're having a seizure you know, for doctors and nurses, they should realize that we cannot talk while having a seizure. It just makes us frustrated. Well, it makes me frustrated. I do not know about the rest of my epileptic subscribers out there. But it is pointless to try to get me to talk when I cannot talk. And at the... Here's a little side experience for y'all. The last EMU stay that I, that I did, once I was able to say something, I said, I gotta go, I, ha I need to use the bathroom. It was like, not until you talk. I wanted to smack the nurses. They pissed me. Oh, excuse me. They made me mad. But nonetheless, you still got to be courteous and compliant. But uh, that's where that's where having that's where me making videos came in. Everything that they made me made me ticked about or mad about. I put it in a video. They never saw the videos because I never released them. But I made the videos as a way to um, get over the frustration. And besides, all you can really do is just watch TV. You can barely move around as it is anyway. You're lucky. You're lucky to be able to move to a bathroom or restroom facility. <clears throat> especially with all that, especially with all those wires hanging out of your, hanging, tied to your, tied and glued to your head and stuff. Man. But for the most part, the whole deal is this. They deprive you of your medicine and um and all they all they provide for entertainment is a TV set. You want more? Bring a lap bring a tablet or a computer or put some games on your phone. If m many people have smartphones, put a bunch of games on your smartphone and suck it up. Make sure to have lots and lots of snacks. Some junk food, some not. Make sure to have lots, to, make sure to have food to eat. Because I guarantee you, not all hospitals can make good food. At least, I thought, I, in my opinion, being stuck at VCU Medical Center, their food sucks. Their food really sucks it doesn't matter who you know and believe me I knew the dietary 
the head of dietary, the head dietary person down there at the time. She was, a, she was the mother of a friend of my sister. Nonetheless, bring food, bring snacks. If you can get somebody to come visit you, bring money. Send them down to a fast food place. Shoot, I did. <laughs> but show I did. I knew my dad was coming to, for a visit one night to check on me. I gave him a holler. I was like, "Yo, pops, bring me. Can you can you stop by the can you stop by fast food place and give me something to eat? The food up here sucks." So he did. Oh yeah, number one thing, the number one biggest thing how they try to induce a seizure is to deprive you of sleep. Yeah, they deprive you of sleep. And believe me, if you, the one thing you should not be surprised about is if you do not have the same reactions that you're used to experiencing at home. Like if you do not get enough sleep at home and you have a seizure, do not be surprised if it does not happen during the EMU stay. Because sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. Sometimes, sometimes they'll induce a seizure according to, according to um, descriptions, according to what you tell them. Like, you tell them you didn't, you had a seizure because you didn't sleep for X amount of hours and stuff. Well, anyway, that's how it was for me at least. Each state, each country, each hospital, the requirements and procedures are different. But for the most part, you should be able to at least have some, at least be able to bring something for you to do, like crossword puzzles. If you can get, if you can have your phone with you or, or tablet and have it linked to their, um, excuse me, to their server. You're in business. But like I said, it's completely different for each place and each person. The kind of testing that I went through might not be the same as the kind of testing that you might be going through. But for the most part, the whole idea is to induce a seizure and see how long it'll last. It sucks. And if you're if you're anything like me, you'll get annoyed. Some some people show it, some people do not. But anyway, stuff is what it is. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>